Yes, sir. Uh oh, gotta get out the way. Big boy coming through. Truck a little dusty, man. Truck a little dusty. I ain't gonna lie to you. But I ain't in no rush to clean it because we headed to Texas, baby. And anybody been to Texas knows it's gonna be some dust. So let's check out this trailer and get moving. Yeah, nice little joint too to take down there. It's a bullet, 20 foot. Man, this thing should ride smooth behind the cum dog. Get down there nice and efficiently. Ain't got a lot of weight. You're gonna get some good fuel mileage. Make some money. Yeah. I might take y'all all the way through this one to the delivery and everything. I guess I haven't really done that yet. Just give you a little nice journey. You know, a little mid drive conversation. And if you know me, if you know anything about me in this channel, this bad boy is going to the house. I'm keeping it for the weekend. Not the whole weekend. I'm gonna probably leave out Sunday. It's Friday right now. It's about 3 p.m. Honestly, guys, I took the last couple of days off. You know, luckily with this business, my favorite part of this business, you can take time off when you want. And my wife was like, hey, you've been gone a lot, man. There's some things I wanna do. I need you to stay home for a couple of days. And I'm like, woman, there's a lot of work to be done. I'm looking at this load board over these couple days, man. And with the hurricane, this load's going here, paying 2,000. This load's going there for, you know, 500 miles, paying 2,000. And this woman want me to stay home. That's cool. That's cool, I'm gonna stay home. But when you dag on car, it's the tow truck outside. And you hear it beeping, backing up in the driveway. Don't come crying to me. Don't come crying to me. I'm gonna let him take it. <laughs> I'm just playing. But yeah, I did stay home for a couple days and then hopped on the low board. She said, all right, bro, go back to work then. Since she's so antsy and don't want to be home. I said, all right, dang, you should have said that two days ago. And I could have took a month off all them loads paying 2000. I could have took a month off. But anyway, so we got this load going to Born, Born, Bernay, Born, I don't know, I'll put it right here, Texas near san antonio so gotta go down through dallas to san antonio but y'all know if y'all know y'all know but that's what we gotta do and we getting ready to get up out of here got the cum dog looking nice and workable it's a work truck it ain't pretty you know you can still kind of see where i cut this out and rub it in whatever not a body guy i'm gonna make it happen guy you know what i'm saying and that side came out 20 times worse then this side, this side, you almost couldn't tell without the paint. I did way better on this side. And I did this side first. I did the other side after, and I was in a rush because I needed to get to the orientation for this class. I didn't think my truck could have rust on it. Whatever, they don't even care. So we out here. Let's get this thing in the wind. Pick up 
up another load for uh, Friday, pick up another load Friday to deliver Monday. Um, and I'll try to make that one a little shorter because my kids are about to go on fall break. So my wife actually wants to go with me on um, two runs from now. She wants to go on a run. So we'll uh, do a short run, maybe, you know, 700 miles or less is kind of what I consider short. I know a lot of guys were like, a thousand miles is short, you know, it's, but to me, like 10 hours is like a short run. I, I think, you know, and it's something I can do in, in one like DOT time stretch, you know, that's like short for me and I'm good with that. So if I can run out maybe to like Omaha, Nebraska, or, you know, like Tulsa, Oklahoma or something on Monday and come right back, that would be cool for me. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And then, uh, you know, like Wednesday or Thursday, try to get a, a longer one to go out. And then that's the one my wife will come on with me. But, uh, yeah, so I'll just bring you guys along. It's boring. I mean, it, it's very boring, but also exciting because, you know, you're not on anybody's time clock. Nobody telling you when to go to lunch. Nobody telling you, hey, you're not doing this right. You're not doing that right. It's just you, your vehicle, and the road. And whatever you want to do, you stop and do. You want to see something, go see it. That's the beauty of, of RV Transport. And plus, you're getting paid for it. Before, two weeks ago, I've never even been to Texas. And now, I'm going to Texas again twice this month. You know, it's just, it's just beautiful. And, you know, I didn't even have to do this. That's, like, another beautiful thing about it. Like, I could have went to, we had loads going to Missouri. We had loads going to Arkansas. We had loads going out to Idaho. Like, it's just beautiful that you can pick. Or if I didn't want to do anything and I wanted to be broke, I could have sat home. It's just, it's just gorgeous. Just a beautiful, beautiful feeling. But uh, I'll update you guys in a little bit. And uh, I don't know. I'm thinking about stopping around Memphis, Tennessee area. Because that would be about seven hours into the drive. Do a reset there. And then uh, tomorrow we should be able to get there before they close and deliver tomorrow. If I'm calculating my time right, I know the time changes, so I gotta, I gotta figure that in, but we'll figure it out. All right, first fuel stop, check the load. Make sure everything's Gucci, we ain't dragging nothing, no doors open, none of that. Make sure the cum dog is in pristine condition. Look at them new used tires. All right, let's get it. Put some road behind us. All right, guys. One of the downsides. Road of the... closed in 1.2 miles. Your route is no longer available. Couldn't have had better timing. One of the downsides of the transportation industry. I have been in standstill traffic for. Don't mind my dirty windshield. These bugs in Illinois are insane. But I've been in standstill traffic for at least 30 minutes. And I have not seen any progression. There are no vehicles going either way. So must be bad. Prayers to whoever in the families or who, of whoever involved. But we are definitely set back. But that's okay. That's okay. It's all part of it. All part of it. We'll keep rolling. I'll let you guys know when I get going, how long I sit here. So far, I got here at 4.50 or something like that. And it's about 5. It's getting close to 5.30. So. Uh, wow, definitely a pretty aggressive crash. Hopefully the driver's okay. Man, it's insane. All right, so spent a total of 45 minutes in traffic. Let's keep going, see how much further we can get. All right, guys, making our last stop before delivery. We slept, we woke up, we drove and drove and drove. And now it's time to get out of yesterday's clothes, take a shower, make this delivery. Turn around, start heading back two and a half hours from the drop. 
So going to get a shower, turn around, see how far we can get. Headed back in the other direction. Make some good headway. Talk to you on a minute. Nice little private bathroom. If you uh, fill up here predominantly, you get all of these free normally. If not, $18. Towel for the ground. It's like a little hotel, you know? A little hotel. Wear shoes in here. All right, completely refreshed. Forgot lotion, so my skin is extra dry from that cheap soap. But whatever, we clean nonetheless. Let's get back in the truck. Finish out this little drive, two and a half hours, I think I said it was. And uh, get this thing delivered. Get back home. Oh, yes. All those hours later. And we are here. How you say that? In Ankara? Ankara? Ansara? However you want to say it. We here in Texas. And it is so much hotter than when I left this morning. I needed my heat on. I needed a jacket. I needed a hoodie. Or not this morning, but yesterday. And now I'm sweating. But let's go ahead and check in. All right, they told me to pull up behind these units right here. I'm guessing where this ladder is so they can look on top of the unit, I would imagine. Uh, let's just go right there. Oh. Park here right here. So of course I get here right at lunchtime. So they said the guy that's checking in will be out in 30 minutes. I'm dying. It's hot in Texas. It's hot, man. It's probably not that hot. It's probably like 78 degrees, but coming from the 50 degrees yesterday, I'm sweating. I'm sweating, but hey, it's money. It is money. Anyways, right now, while I'm waiting, I want to tell you guys basically how this goes. So if you're not familiar with RV Transport or how it works, at least with my company, I'm pretty sure all companies are like this. They usually pay you around half the money up front when uh, you pick up the trailer. Anywhere between 45 and 55%. And then um, when you deliver the load, you get the rest. Um, normally, they take out... Um, the pull-in fee, which for Synergy is $35. And then they take out 7% of the entire cost for your bond. And Synergy has a bond of $1,500 for tow away. And um, luckily I just got my bond fully fulfilled. Um, so that 7% no longer comes out. I only get the $35 pull away fee. So yes, you get half the money up front and then the other half when you deliver um, and then that's it, man. And you take off and you go back and you get another one and you do it again and again and again. And your own time on your own pace. Also, if you guys ever want to get in contact with me, the best way to contact me where I will see it and reply, because I reply to all of the comments. Or at least I try. I try to reply to all the comments. But if you want more of a one on one conversation, instead of just like a, a comment and then a response um, as far as the conversation goes dm me on instagram it is the exact same as my youtube username just moto zay and i will 1000 percent respond to anybody that has any questions um, about rv transport uh, usually pretty quickly within an hour or so um, and also please let's get these subscribers up to a thousand let's do it let's get these subscribers up to a thousand bro Whew. gotta hit that thousand mark let's hit thousand subscribers before the end of the year we ran out of time we got half of october september december we could do it two and a half months for i think we have 730 subscribers so we just need 270 more of you guys to click that subscribe button let's get it so let's get 
this what is on my shirt bro let's get uh this trailer unhooked i'm not gonna i'm not gonna unhook it yet but i'm gonna take my plate off and stuff but yeah it's hot i'm ready to go home all right guys just uh got it hooked finally the trailer's right there behind me um one thing i forgot to mention is they have uh with it's called a uh, wash receipts or um, a wash fees or something in my opinion it's kind of stupid like you pay to get the trailer washed at some dealerships it's not even all of them some dealerships you pay to get them washed and then the company reimburses you right back i'm not totally sure why the company doesn't just pay it in the first place <laughs> but whatever <laughs> so uh make sure you get the receipt whenever you have to pay a wash fee and uh get your money back they'll send it back instantly so uh yeah the truck is definitely super dusty super dry down here in texas bugs galore but that's it man thank you for going on this journey with me that's what it's like basically from start to finish um since I live in Indiana, I always, always, always take my trailers to my house. Unless I go north, which I rarely do, I always try to go south because my house is in southern Indiana. Goshen is obviously northern Indiana, so I always get a fresh start from my house and it kills some of the drive. But um, yeah, it's my day in the life, basically. Pick up a trailer. I always use a day to pick up the trailer. It's like six hours round trip and then a day or two to go run it come back home and do it again so if you guys have any questions again dm me on instagram and if you would please 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 hit the subscribe button let's get to a thousand peace